Well, hello everybody. This is Richard from the uh, Brian Bus Adventure. And here's the bus. Well, what we can see of the bus. Today I'm gonna be working on a headlight system here. And uh, that yellow wire coming down up here is from the dimmer switch. And what had happened, somebody had gotten in there at one time and taken, these are 24 volt systems. And what they had done is they decided that they wanted 12 volt headlights. For some reason, I have no idea. Maybe they couldn't find the bulbs or whatever. But anyway, they'd gone in and kind of really Mickey Moused it up and turned it into a 12 volt system for the trailer lights, which is okay. And then again for the headlights, which really is not okay. Nowadays, it's pretty easy to get some LED headlights. And again, here's what I have done for the LED headlights. Went and ordered four of these. I think there's four, eight, or five, ten, there's 15 LEDs in each one of these, so they should be bright. I think half of them's probably for high beam and half of them's for low beam, but gonna find out how all four of them work. But today, I'm gonna go back up. I stripped all of the old 12 volt wiring out of it already. And now I'm just gonna hook back into the, uh, to the stoplight switch and make it work on a 12 volt system. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Stick around. Okay, what I've done is I've actually hooked the headlight up. As you can see right there, just one of the four is hooked up. Went inside the um, compartment here and I uh, just temporarily hooked the red to the red, the green to the brown. The red is high beam, uh, the green is the low beam, and then the ground is the black, and that's, of course, the um, ground. So we're going to see what happens when I turn the headlights on, if I blow everything up. Maybe they'll even work. <laughs> that would be kind of nice, but let's go inside the bus and see what we have. Here is El Busso, and it has the curtain up right now. So here's one of the headlights sitting right here that's going to go back over here there's the headlight buckets right there what i did is i went to a salvage yard and found these out of a gmc pickup and they were the right size had to do a little modifying on them had to cut a hole in them there's a protrusion on the side of the led headlights and had to make you know provisions for that but let's see what happens okay here we go man alive tough getting in and out of this bus. Got all these curtains here to make sure everything works. So we're gonna go lights, uh, dash lights. Let's find the key, find the key, find the key. Got the key. I don't know if I have to have the key on or not, or the ignition key on or not, but we're gonna find out. Let's see, there we go. I'm so good with this camera, all right. And there we go, you know, Here's a headlight, there's high beams. Let's go outside and see what happened. See if everything's smoking, or if something actually works out there. Would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? The headlight worked, and it doesn't work. Oh, probably because I might not have the high beam. No, I have the high beam on. Why is that not working? That should be working. Oops. Let's find out what happens here. Okay, dimmer switch on. Everything's on. I don't know why it's not working. Boy, it didn't want to charge then. Didn't want to start, did it? What's the same thing? There, we got lots of voltage. You can see the 26.5, 26.6. Didn't really want to start there. But let's go back out and see what happens now. Maybe they're on. Maybe they're on not. If not, I gotta do a little bit more, a little bit more research and find out why they're not on. And it's not on. So it may be, it may be. Well, let's see here. Huh. Don't quite understand why the headlight's not on. The headlight should be up and running right now. So that means something is not kosher. I started the engine just to think maybe that was it. That's not it. Let me get my amp gauge out here. Voltmeter. 
Come check out and see what's going on up here. Why we don't have any voltage going on between the hither and the thither. Be right back. Okay, y'all. Here we are. Another day, another dollar and a half, or whatever the heck it is we make. Today, back on a bus and uh, working on the 4108A, the uh, motorhome, the converted Greyhound bus that's now a motorhome, or was a motorhome since 1999, I believe, is when they said that they had uh, originally done it. Oh, going into the dark here, sorry. I'm going to turn the headlights on to show you that we finally have some headlights. So this should be high beam when I get back outside. Let's see if I've done it right. And had to rewire a bunch of stuff, but yep, looks like all of the lights are on. No, it looks like that's low beam. Looks like that'll be low beam. Yep, that's low beam. Now let's go back inside and balance the high beam. Let's balance the high beam button down here on the floor. This is like the old cars used to be in the old days, you know what I'm saying? Where you have the dimmer switches on the floor. Yep, right there. See, we've got a big blue light. The big blue light indicates that we have high beams on. So let's walk back outside. See if we have all those, what is there, 12 or 15 of them. Oh yeah, look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15. 15 on each side. Working good. And as you can tell, we have four headlights. Whew, that's going to be bright. Four headlights, two on each side. And that's back what we're doing what I had to do was go in and rewire the dimmer switch and also these wires here with the blue yellow caps on them uh, they are now the uh, high beam low beam and all that kind of stuff they have to be reconfigured in here of course but they're all in all the uh, the wrap so they won't get all frayed when they're inside but that's it looks like finally I mean finally I do mean finally finally we have some headlights that work here on the bus and that makes me happy I ordered some uh, springs and some of the little um, screw adapters screw adjusters for them new so that's gonna make it uh, adjusted up just right but this is the Brian bus adventure and this is part of it getting the stuff ready so that we can hit the road soon and we're done almost with this. This is apps, uh, well, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. We have to go ahead and clean that up a little bit right there and you get all those sharp edges off. But again, now the headlight fits in there perfectly. It's nice and solid. Uh, screws are in. Have to get new screws for it. You can see top and bottom there. There's a couple of them missing. And uh, But I want to replace all of the screws with the new screws. I've put a bunch of uh, lubricant on them, kind of made them safe again i guess is the way to put it but uh you know i'd like to replace them all anyway that's what's happening headlights are in there's a, a bucket that goes around this a big surround and that'll be going into here but actually really do need to redo that somehow which means i have to take this off this entire surround off but it goes clear around to this park light or this uh, reflector light oh the reflector's cracked anyway i'll be taking that off I hope I don't have to take the bumper off to get to it. But anyway, I'm going to take that off. Put new receivers in here, all these, so that the uh, headlight ring, the beauty ring, actually works. Anyway, we've got headlights. We have headlights. We don't got anything, do we? <laughs> we have headlights. And that's it.